getting back into my rock and roll dish jockey mode. Hey, this is Big Bop and Bobby Boogie with the biggest sounds of swinging sacks on wax for all you chills and jacks on the all new K40. <laughs> David the Marine. Let me see your war face. Unfortunately, we're not talking about a radio station when we mention the K-40. Talking about the car K-40. Uh, all stainless steel. Uh, it holds uh, six rounds in the magazine plus one in the chamber for a seven total. It is a double action only uh, semi-automatic. And it's the, um, it's got some weight to it, so it doesn't kick so much, but it's got some weight to it, so it's not as easy to carry. I can see the influence of Glock maybe in the design, yeah? Uh, somewhat. Yeah. In fact, when it came out in 1995 as the K9, uh, originally chambered in 9mm. Uh, the K9. The, <laughs> and a lot of people at the SHOT Show that year, you know, they're asking, hey, have you seen the, the, the baby Glock? Because that was pre-Glock yeah. uh, 26. And mm -hmm. well, baby Glock. Because it does have a lot of the the in design influence of the Glock in this. There are a lot some key things with this uh, that are unique to this that kind of changed uh, how low, low the bore axis is. And there's all kinds. It's been out since '95. Now it's about the size of a nine. I mean, what makes it bigger, better than a nine? Well, it's a 40, uh, and a lot of people think, you know, that if it doesn't start with a four, it's too small. Uh, you lose one round uh, in the 40 chamber, and then, you, you know, to the nine, the nine holds uh, one more round. Uh, have a little more kick, but again, you have the weight of the steel to kind of help tame that kick. Common hazard, the cases going up on that tin roof and rolling down. So whether it's the K-40 or the K-9, you make sure to keep reaching for the hits. That's my Casey Kasem voice, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> Guns, Guns for, for everybody. everybody. <laughs>